Hi, this is Wendell Odom, and welcome to the study plan for the ICND1 book chapter on IP addressing and subnetting. As with all these, know that I'm telling you what to focus on, but everything in the chapter is indeed fair game on the test. But boy, is this ever an important chapter. So during your first pass of reading the chapter, right up front, take your time. Go slow. If you're not getting it, take the time to go back and think. If you're not getting it reading what's in the chapter, look around. Uh, go to my blog that you see over on the right-hand part of the screen and just post a question. Uh, go to Cisco Learning Network, post a question. It's important that you really get this. Now, again, on your first pass through, this chapter is long. It's hard to get it all at one pass. So I'd like for you to think about this chapter in parts. In fact, if I had to do it over again, I'd uh, split this chapter up into five to seven individual chapters. But as it's written, uh, you can think of it as five different parts, as you see already on the page here, starting at pages 336, 347, and so on, with an overview part, some math, subnet masks, analyzing subnets, and finding all subnets. Now, another thing that can really help when you're working through this chapter is to use the video that's in the DVD with the book. That's in Appendix G. And most of the um, math operations, both binary and decimal, that you see described in the book, I've got samples in video, so you can take a look at those. Finally, don't forget about Appendix D that's on the CD. That's a practice appendix that gives you more sample problems. And the, this appendix shows you how to work the problems using the processes in this chapter. Now for perspective, most people take at least five passes through subnetting to start feeling comfortable with it. You're going to feel uncomfortable the first time you think about subnetting, and probably the second and third. Uh, it's just part of the learning process, so hang with it, stick with it. A lot of people have learned this before you. Just uh, take your time with it. Now as you finish the first pass and you think about what to do next, uh, you will have already seen my way to do things, or at least what's written in the book, but there's a bunch of ways to go about finding the answers to subnetting questions, a lot of different um, directions to take the math. So you either want to use my way or use a way you've read somebody else, uh, somewhere else, but just choose one. Once you say, yeah, I kind of like that way, and practice that way. So if you go online somewhere, you read some other book, and you see another way to go about it, and you like that better, that's fine, as long as you're getting the right answer. Just keep practicing. The other thing is that you want to uh, consider using the subnet calculator, calculator or any other tool that gives you additional problems. Uh, I personally like the SolarWinds uh, subnet calculator for use when you're practicing for CCENT and CCNA. Next, once you've picked your method and you've done some practice, you want to think about your third pass through the chapter. And at your third pass, you want to make sure you're getting good at everything. You want to get 9 out of 10 questions right, if you will. 9 out of 10 math calculations right. And then by the time you go through your fourth pass through this chapter, I want you to be good and fast. So, for instance, let's say you've got an IP address and mask. I would say you ought to be able to find the subnet ID in about 10 seconds, even if it's a difficult mask. If it's a network number and a mask, that you'd be able to find all the subnet IDs, or at least know the pattern and have the first four or five within 10 or 15 seconds again. If you see a subnet mask and a network number, you should be able to tell me the size, the network, subnet, and host parts um, within 10 seconds. Now, that's only that speed's only important for the exams. In real life, use a calculator. I don't care. But for the exams, you really want to work at getting fast. So I hope you do well with the subnetting. Keep plugging away, and that's my suggestion of how to go about using the chapter. Talk to you soon.